Welcome back. So we're just setting up to flash program this McLaren. It's got a few issues, some software. It was mapped by uh, someone else that we don't know. So we can't actually get the original file for the NGDCU. So we're now gonna do an online programming session uh, with the die code McLaren tool. Before we do that, we need to supply some power, and that we do with this unit. So the vehicle needs at least 13.8, 14 volts uh, for the programming session continuously because the ignition is going to be switched on and it's going to drain the battery very quickly. So this battery supply unit will actually give us some power. So first of all, we'll set it up for lithium iron. 12 volts lithium iron, and we're going to go with flash programming. Set it 40.2 volts. Turn that on. Now we've got a strong power supply to look after the needs of the current drain and the power drain. That's going to happen while we're programming DCUs. So we're getting ready to set up the programming um, interfaces. For that we need an OBD splitter because there are two interfaces that are going to be connected together. That goes, one side goes into the OBD connector. One side will connect. This is a pass-through interface. This is used to actually flash the uh, control units. So this is, gonna, this is the communication interface for that part. And that's going to be connected to one OBD port from the split. Okay, we're switched on, we're ready to go. And the next one's going to be our simple diag connector, which is this one here. We simply go, that's it, ready to connect to the car. So now that we're set up, we're now going to open the McLaren software and go to the next stage of actually identifying the vehicle and going through the process of the programming sequences. Interface ready. Now we're going to select our model vehicle, which is a 12C. We carry out scan all units. We'll identify. So we can see programming attempts here, 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 and here. So it's been programmed a few times for various reasons. We're also now going to do uh, a flash programming on it just to update the software. We go to programming. Is the battery charger connected? Yes, it is. Make sure battery voltage is not less than 14 volts. So this is where it's very important to have battery support unit that can support a higher voltage throughout the programming process. So here we're going to select our programming device, which is a J2534 pass-through, which is the access device there. We'll select that here. That's OK. We can now see our LED flashing on here, which is now communicating with the ECU, establishing a dialogue. current software version is that one. We're going to program it with the same software version, which is, must be the latest one, but it's going to be a clean file, so it's 
not got the adjustments for the mapping and so on because that's what we're trying to do here we're trying to put the ECU back into a stock factory state it's doing block two So our uh, programming session has now ended. The engine ECU has been flashed. Programming has finished and it's successful. Job done. So some of the other functions with the software are, we're able to program immobilizers, misfire diagnoses, adaptations, and lots more special functions which are not available on any other tool for McLaren's. So this is a super advanced diagnostic tool that is a must for any workshop that's servicing and looking after McLarens.